So I wanted to go over something that I didn't explicitly cover in the previous lessons, and that is the fact that you can have multiple documents open at the exact same time. So whenever you create a new project in Adobe InDesign, what you're doing is you're creating a document. Now that document isn't going to be the entirety of the program whenever you're working on it. It isn't like Word where you can only have one open and you have to open up an entire other Word to create a new document. In here, we can actually have multiple documents open at the exact same time. And the way that works is up here there are tabs, sort of like in your web browser where you have a bunch of different tabs for like the different web browsers that you're, you know, operating on. So maybe you have Facebook open in one, YouTube open in another, and you know, some other website open in the third. And you know, you can have like a hundred of those open at the exact same time. It works the exact same way in InDesign. And it kind of comes with the same um, constraints on your computer as well. The more you have open, the more chance that your computer can start slowing down and you know, things like that. So to have multiple and open, all you have to do is, for example, you create multiple documents and it's just going to keep putting them in the tab right here. And you can also open up other documents. So let's say we wanted to open up here. Maybe we had something in here, the design or a picture that we liked. We can open it up and there's some links missing there, but we can open it up like so. And then if we actually want to take this element and put it into one of our other documents, these aren't like sandboxed, meaning they can't talk to one another. They can talk to one another by if we click on one of them and we hit control C, which is going to copy it, you can also right click and hit copy right there. We can move back to one of these and we can actually paste it like so. And that gives us the ability to have a bunch of different designs sort of working at the same time and being able to take creative elements from one of these and implementing them in another one. So something really simple, but if I didn't explicitly cover it, I know that a lot of people can sort of look over it and it can get a little confusing. I know it was for me at first. So just, yeah, kind of understand that there can be multiple documents open at the same time. And if you open up a document while you're in one of these, it might not automatically switch to it. And you'll be like, what, I just opened that, where did it go? It's just up here and you can switch between them. And then you can also clean up the tabs up there, just like in a web browser. You can click on the little X here and it'll just go ahead and close those. If you haven't saved it, don't worry. If you click on one of these, M and you've saved it before, so let's actually click on this. Let's save it to a new location. Uh, let's just give it a really random name here. and Let's add something new. If now I try to delete it, you'll notice that it asked me to save it. So you can't accidentally you know, destroy any of your work or anything like that. It'll ask you to save it and then you can just click yes and then it'll close it for you. But that is the basics on that you know, aspect on the top. Just understand that you can switch between them. There might be multiple open and you can kind of use a bunch of different documents at the same time.